It's been the holy grail of magnetism for decades, a magnetic field two million times stronger than the Earth's, a goal known as 100 Tesla. It's something that we've been promising, we've been trying to achieve and planning on how to achieve for such a long time now. For more than a week in March 2012, scientists at the Los Alamos National Laboratory campus of the National High Magnetic Field Laboratory work feverishly to ramp up their biggest magnet for the world record 100 Tesla try. But it's not just about the record, it's about doing cutting edge science along the way. On today's run there have been eight different samples um, from six different groups around the world um, and it's been a case of several weeks of long nights making sure all these experiments work in our lower field magnets. My computer is armed downstairs. A 100 Tesla non-destructive magnet has a major effect on a wide range of science. It's a one-of-a-kind tool for studying the fundamental properties of materials, from metals and superconductors to semiconductors and insulators. We have about a 2.4 megajoule capacitor bank that we, that we um, energize the smaller magnet inside of a much larger magnet. So we're able to distribute those huge forces across a very massive magnet system. Ross, your call. Good to go. Start time now. Hey, hold off. For a few tense moments, the scientific team waits in anticipation while diagnostics measure the magnetic field strength and correct for any anomalies. Yes! Yeah! Yes! <laughs> yes! <laughs> We had some engineers that uh, we work with that said you've got lots of design margin, uh, but you know you're in un your unknown territory. And so if somebody hasn't done it before, then you really don't know, you know, can we do this? It took years of commitment, took years of vision, years of perse perse uh, perseverance, <laughs> years of perseverance uh, to make this happen. Uh, teamwork uh, with a capital T, uh, cooperation from the National Science Foundation, the Department of Energy, NNSA, Los Alamos National Laboratory, the, uh, uh, Florida State University, and, and the state of Florida all worked together and contributed quite a bit to make this happen. So it was an incredible teamwork, a bunch of different agencies, and a group of really dedicated people. The final official number, 100.75 Tesla. I'm Kevin Rourke for LANL TV.